Hi, Dr. Janice Webb here. You probably know me from my two books, Running on Empty, Overcome Your Childhood Emotional Neglect, and Running on Empty No More, Transform Your Relationships. And I want to talk to you today about a very primary part of childhood emotional neglect. Um, first, I want to remind you, if you don't know this already, that childhood emotional neglect is healable as an adult. You can absolutely heal it and change your life. This is why I keep talking about this topic because I want everyone to understand that this is very possible to make a major difference in your life. So one of the biggest problems that happens when you grow up in a household, this is the definition of an emotionally neglectful family, by the way, one in which your feelings are treated as not very important. Maybe they're ignored, maybe they're uh, just discouraged. Uh, people act like they don't exist or they don't talk about them. They act like your feelings are a burden to them. If this is the kind of family that you're, you grew up in, your child brain knew just what to do to be able to survive and thrive in that setting. Your brain basically learned how to push your emotions out and away and wall them off. So it's not like you stopped feeling anything altogether. It's more like your feelings were relegated to a very unimportant part of your life and you were taught to teach them as, as if they're a nuisance and a problem as opposed to a rich resource to guide you and connect you and energize you, which is what your feelings actually are. So the problem is when you grow up this way and you end up with your feelings walled off, you have a great deal of tr trouble then later as an adult figuring out what you're feeling and why or even being able to identify when you're having a feeling. So the best way, this is an amazing tip I'm about to give you, um, to start turning this around is to start actually, it sounds so simple, pay attention to your feelings. Actually get curious, what am I feeling right now? Is this a feeling? So you can start identify what is happening in your body because it is a physical thing. Please go to my website, emotionalneglect.com. The link is in the bio or caption under this video, and you will find a download for some sheets that are in the Running on Empty book that um, will help you monitor your feelings on a day-to-day -day basis. It is the best way to start turning, programming your brain to think about and deal with your feelings differently. And it's step one in recovery from childhood emotional neglect. Thanks for watching.